The person I have the pleasure of working alongside needs no real introduction. We all remember him, and his name is synonymous with football. He made 67 appearances for England, scoring 20 goals. One of those was in the 1966 World Cup final, England, of course, beating Germany. A legend with West Ham, Tottenham, and, of course, England. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together as he enters the room for Martin Peters, MBE. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much indeed for that welcome. We're delighted that Martin chose to join us tonight. He was at Wembley last night for the Denmark game and here with us in Kent this evening. I'd like to thank our associate sponsors who've helped put on tonight's event, the Ace Group and to Dr. Johnson's Buildings. Thank you to both of those companies. And many thanks to each and every one of you for helping us to put on this event by coming along tonight. We've got a three course meal to look forward to, then we'll have some coffee towards the end of the night. This is of course a charity fundraiser, we've mentioned that, and we are looking to raise money for the Kent Air Ambulance. I thank you for giving your support, it really does mean a mu so much to each and every one involved with the charity. Everybody place their votes, either hands on your heads or your bottoms, as we play heads and tails here at the Robin with the West Ham, Spurs and England legend. All place your votes please ladies and gents. Heads or tails, he's mentioned Norwich as well, so for good measure we'll mention Norwich and Sheffield United. Thank you very much indeed Martin. Spin that coin. All place your votes ladies and gents. It is... It is... Heads! Heads, all those with their hands on their heads, you stay standing, you're still in the game. Unfortunately, if you went for a tail, unlucky. Heads or tails, here we go Martin, spin that coin, one head, one tail, we'll have a winner and you'll get the two prizes. Here we go as Martin spins that coin, best of luck to both of you. Tails. We have a winner. We have a winner. I'll take them for a hundred pounds. Thank you very much indeed. Nice piece of sporting memorabilia. This has been expertly trained. 80 I've got, 90 do I see. Gentlemen went away to my left hand side. It's been a hundred pounds. Once. And twice, so we all finished at 100 pounds. He's got himself a lovely piece of sporty memorabilia. Thank you very much indeed. 100 pounds, that goes for... <laughs> okay, the first question for Martin Peters, MBE. Hand up in the air, leg it up on your feet. Shout it out nice and loudly. Anybody want to ask the first question? Don't be afraid. Up you get seated. You take the mic, Martin. Uh, Martin, try, try and describe, you know, for someone like me who loves to be able to play football, what's that feeling like? A, to score a goal in any game, but also to score the goal in a World Cup final. Well, to score the goal in any game is, is fantastic because it makes you feel so great and you jump up and down and you run back and all the lads jump all over you. You know, it's a fantastic thing to achieve. So no matter whether it's in the World Cup or whether it's um, in any league game at all, even if you're not playing in the first division or the second division or the third division, you know, it's just great to score goals. OK, next question, gentlemen there. I have a question about the 1966 World Cup. Basically, are there any sort of like secret hats of the half-time team talk or at the end of 90 minutes, did Al sort of give any little goal of that mixture or anything that maybe... Well, no, as I said to you earlier, Al took us to the side of the pitch and he got us all around there and he gave us a good chat up and told us what we had to do and what we needed to do and things like that. So he actually told us exactly what to do and then we did it and we won it. So no, our friends, he was a great, great man yeah. and uh, you know, he was very successful, obviously, playing manager of England and yeah, yeah, he was an Ipswich as well prior to that.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go into the raffle, but it's been a fantastic night. We've been in the company of a tremendous player, a man who scored in the World Cup final, helped England beat Germany back in 1966. He's given us a great account of not only that tournament, but his life at West Ham, Tottenham, Norwich, and not forgetting Sheffield United. Please put your hands together for Mr. Martin Peters, every year.